Hello everybody and welcome back to our as yet unnamed British themed city here in City Skylines 1. My name is Biffo and last episode we got started on this beautiful map. I'm absolutely loving this with the river winding through there and we did a little bit of theming with our industrial state over here. It needs a lot of detailing, we're going to get to that but we've been using our district styles to get the more sort of British style buildings in here. Look at this, we've got... Uh, some ones you might recognise, Quick Fit. Ah, oh, yes, good old British brand going on there. Jubilee Automotive. We all know that one. You, you don't know that one? Okay, maybe not so well known that one. The Plum Centre. Who hasn't been down to the Park Centre at the Plum Centre? Okay. So, yeah, we themed this little bit here, and we've got the larger area to work on. I'm absolutely loving these terraced houses, and we popped some little gardens in the back down here as well, which I think really good, look really good. But this area over here is looking very un-British-like. We've got a few British houses sort of dotted around from various themes, but we need to decide on an overall theme for this area. So let's come out of that view. Let's give this a district. And also, we've got to name the city. And um, I haven't done that yet. I haven't forgotten, although I did forget in the last episode to do so. But we'll, uh, yeah, try not to forget and get that done zoink by the end of the episode. I also want to grab this side road here and upgrade this one because it was pointed out to me that all the people that live along here um, can't get to their front doors because of these walls. So we're going to... Is that still a, a house with a wall? I think it is. We'll grab this one here then and we'll upgrade all of these. Hopefully we won't lose any houses and things on the way. We lost a couple, but they're all going to go anyway, aren't they? So it really doesn't matter. And I think this one's got the wall on it. Yeah, so you just end up with like a little bit of grass outside instead. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. So we've got Willow Square, which we are going to change the name of in a moment, but we need to just sort out a style for in here. And I'm thinking mm, we could just go for, actually, we don't want to do it that way, do we? We could just go for a good old fashioned generic UK looking. Let's have none. Let's have these. Let's search UK and see what comes up. I mean, there is a heck of a lot. I don't want to go down the bungalows yet. But there were some really nice houses in here. Oh, these are good. I like these council houses. They're like terrace semis. They will only be level one, but it's like a really nice colour. But I'm thinking maybe when you sort of dot those around. But it's these. I really like these ones. These are so typically UK style. I think we might just go back for those. Let me have a quick scroll through. Is there anything else? Yeah, these are the ones here. Look, semi-detached, semi-detached. I think we're going to be going for these, semi-detached. And we get these in all sorts of different levels as well. Yeah, look, corners, all sorts. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new style, uh, industry stone terrace. So this is going to be new. It's going to be UK, and it's going to be semi-detached. Excellent. Um, I have been told, thank you for the comments, that there is a bug in the district styles editor which doesn't make it possible for single width houses, so these ones here, to spawn, even though you set them. So that's why they didn't spawn last time. We had to put them in ourselves. So, yeah. Just worth keeping in mind. Okay, so I'm going to go through here. I'm going to spell semi-detached correctly and add in all the ones I want. I'll do it off camera. I'll take a minute and I'll be back with you. Okay, and there we go. And then it's always worth sorting by level just to make sure you've got all the levels covered. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Very good. So we are going to go into Willow Square, go into our styles. We are going to add UK Semi Detached. I should give that another name, but we'll end up with UK Semi Detached 1, UK Semi Detached 2, and all of that sort of thing as it goes. And then what I'm probably going to do is just like delete everything in here and just let it all grow in again. I mean, there's some of these other ones. We might do something a little different along the main road, actually. So I'll tell you what we'll do is I'm actually going to de-zone. We, we sort of zoned everywhere, didn't we? Because we were trying to get our population up. Will they go if I just de-zone them? Yeah, I think there's a mod that's stopping things just disappearing. So, yeah, give me a couple of minutes to clear all of this out, and then we'll see what grows back in again. We do have a lot of demand, so that is good. Right, I've pretty much decimated all of this. Um, I'm a little bit worried about how much population we're going to use. I left these corner ones in. Because I just think these fit absolutely brilliantly. And they're all, there's all the people leaving. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. More houses will be growing in momentarily. 
you can come back and live here. But once these go in, these are going to look so much better. And then we're going to have something along the high street here. And then we're going to have something along this road a little bit different. We said about doing a park over there, didn't we? Well, we'll get to that. Oh, Jumpy Game is still here. So let's just let this run for a few moments. How is our population? It hasn't completely died. No, it's still got... Oh, I thought we could still have 1,300 people. We're going to add to 600, which is not great. But we do have some demands. Excellent. The one thing I didn't do in this, and we need to just pause, is I didn't pop in any commercial. And we do need some... Which one is it there? That one there. Some low-density commercial. So let me just see if I can find some that we can add into this. Okay, there's so many shops in here. So what I've done is I made a new one called UK Commercial. Change this to custom. So we don't get anything that's built in the game. Just the custom ones. I think I'm going to add all of these. And then there's only going to be a couple of commercial areas. There we go. So we'll see. Oh, let's turn off the bulldozing. We'll see what comes in with those. And then if we want to sort of change them, we can do. And you can add more than one style to an area. So we're going to add that one in. There we go. We'll delete that because that's a commercial one that shouldn't be coming in. And then we'll just speed the game up. Let all of this grow in. Hope that our power is still jumping across somewhere. It is jumping across down here. That is not connected to anything. That needs to be connected down here. Let's just make sure it's all connected. We don't have everybody die. I also have some UK style power uh, connectors and things as well. So yeah, we can switch that up as well. Let's just let this keep on trucking for a few minutes i think we're going to sort of struggle unless we get some commercial in that is a real weird looking commercial building you're gonna go we've got a little garage down here which will probably go as well a petrol garage because we're going to put that coming off the main road somewhere and yeah i think possibly do you know what i'm gonna do because we're making so much money i am going to find the button i need to press and just lower down the tax rates just a switch to 12 for all of those because we know we can do 13 but with 12 hopefully we'll encourage more to move in and then yeah maybe just i'm going to remove that that and that and just add a little bit of commercial just sort of at the end here like that i don't want to go too far let's just grab a few yeah just something like that excellent okay let's give this all time to grow in right i think we're at the point where it's almost all filled in now what i'd like to do is oh we don't have access to paths do we well we do because i can just cheat and come in here can't i so let's grab some nice paths no they don't unlock until they unlock unless i've got other paths oh what's this straight grassy path 45 degree bendy but i mean this is this what i'm looking for i oh, know it's like a little prop uh we'll come back we'll come back with the paths that's fine what i was going to do was try and get some of these little gaps and corners to fill in and this is where the magic of mods comes in with the move it mods i can grab that hold alt and i can just shiftify that up to be right next to this house which is what i want to do like so and then hmm could i just sort of pick a picker some more of these so i want one there like that and we'll move that over yeah, I'm going to have to do it without holding alt because unfortunately it's jumping otherwise. And then I want another corner one in here, which I'm not sure whether that is going to fit in here. No, I'm going to anarchy this in down here like so. And then we'll just take a look. Yeah, there's a little bit of overlapping there, which is annoying. Just wondering whether this is a bit too wide. If we delete that... Is there any thin ones of these? They, they all sort of look a similar width, don't they? Um, looking around at what we've got, I think it's going to be a case of trying to squeeze in what we've got. I don't think that can move down anymore. Or maybe we just leave like a little gap in between. Let's grab that and move that over. Yeah, I don't think we're going to copy that into there and make it fit. No, okay, that's fine. Well, somewhere, some places will have little gaps. Uh, other places we can sort of fill up like this so we'll have a little gap down the side a little alley getting through that's fine and i don't mind that there actually without it being a corner one so we'll go like so and i like the fact that they're not straight opposite each other as well which is sort of similar to how how we have things like that in this country that's good but i do want all the corners to be this type of house 
especially in this area here. Yeah, so let me go around and we'll do all of those. There we go, that's all the corners done. I've removed all the ones that shouldn't be over here. And I think that's an auto save. Let's just have a quick sip of tea. So now we have all the corners done. Uh, you might have seen like on this one here, I could sort of move the road over a bit so we could actually fit in some more houses. So we could do that in a few places. Although, to be honest, most of these, if we just sort of grab these like that, if it's got a one, a one U gap through there, that is really not a problem. We can add some paths add some decoration add some different things over there oh they're growing in nicely excellent we've got a little gap through there which is fine and these are growing up oh there we go excellent well we're getting the demand so people are moving in which is exactly what we want right so i'm just going around to make sure that i'm happy with how things are filled in we've got this one here let's get rid of that grab this and get that over there so we'll have a one new gap in the middle And I think that will work well. I don't mind those not being opposite each other. Got a bit of a, actually we've got a bit of a big gap here. So what I'm thinking is, mm, 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 and we've got the space as well. So if we, with the move it mod, control click that, 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 no shift, that, 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 and that, and that, and then hold control and drag it out until this house is sort of there. Come on, there we go. Backing up, back, backing up to there. So holding control keeps it all nice and straight. And then we can fill this gap. Is that backed up okay? Actually, we're going to move these down again. So let's go there, there, and there. Hold control. Get that lined up. That's the space we know that we need. And then I'm hoping that that will fit in there. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that. We've got a bit of a gap around here. I don't want houses on this main road, do I? know? Is that zoned? It is. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of all of those. with all this i'm wondering whether another road up here with some more backing onto it could we fit that in if we did something like this let's see let's pick a pick of that road yeah there we go that's good I don't mind the spaces in there too much. That's fine. This one has got some commercial shops that are popping in. Uh, we've still got some gaps down the main road here. So I'm just thinking we're going to sort of fill them in maybe with these. Yeah, and then we can move these ones down a bit. Let's use that. Boink, boink, and boink. And we sort of slide those over a little bit. That fills in much better. Then it goes to shops down there. And again, I'm going to do that with these, I think. I'm going to do that. We'll pick a pick of that one right next to it. Where's the move it mod? And I'm going to sort of leave a gap either side. So we'll have some sort of path going up there. That's looking good. We've got another one in there. I mean, we could wait for all of this to grow in, but I'm quite happy to sometimes just use the mods that we've got. And then we've got this space at the end here, which we can already see. If I had the move it mod on, we could do this. And then we could pick a pick of another one in there. Yeah, that's not quite lined up, is it? So we'll shiftify that over a bit. That lines up nicely. That's okay. I don't think we're going to get another one there. I think that's filled out really well, isn't it? Oh, we've got this little space at the end of the close here. What should we put on there? Let's grab these with the slightly larger gardens. Like that and like that. And then we'll leave a little bit of space down there. And I'm going to pop another one there. And we're going to move this one over a bit. Now, do you know what? I feel like I want delete i feel like i want another one of these next to it and then maybe another one that side and i'm going to delete that one and stick another one there as well and again we've got space for paths we've got space for trees oh, i think that's looking really good isn't it i think that's looking really good and then what is really going to make this is the trees that we're going to put in here so let's get ourselves a very nice looking uk tree brush Okay, so let's make use of the forest brush. I already have a UK tree brush here. And we can see what's been added to this one. I'm just wondering if we could just find a little empty piece of land 
we can just pop this down and see what it's like i mean that's not too bad it needs some bushes needs some different color trees in there as well uh, if we press that button there we'll see all the things that are available to us wow there is a lot of stuff in here isn't there um so i might add in another you know we've only got like 47 orders let's add in that and maybe take out a couple of these smaller ones just to mix up the color a bit oh wow there's loads of orders isn't there order stump no nah, i don't want order stump in there um uh, maybe a few little bushes and grasses i'll tell you what if we do it like this grass class cluster there we go so we get fluffy grass grass cluster two maybe get some weeds in there as well because these are all going to be in amongst the houses if we do weeds then we'll get a nice selection of weeds there we go a few of those if we add some flowers in tiny bush flowers tiny bush flowers let's add all of those and someone's going to tell me you don't get these in the uk i know i know well i don't know i'm just putting them in anyway uh, something like that's not too bad is it and then i feel like we need a few more sort of ground coverage items okay i think i have what i want set up and i'm accidentally drawing it in the background but there we go if you want to have a look at that we'll close that down so this is basically it we've got a nice little selection of bushes and trees various sizes a few flowers thrown in there as well let's remove that let's make sure anarchy is off uh, let's just test it on this house here yep nothing's going to be put on the buildings and then i'm just going to sort of fill in i mean we're going to have some stuff down the the front there oh that's not going to fill in because it's too thin could we have that up a bit then we might get some in there and then what i might do is drop this down no i'll have to manually draw some of those in but that's okay and then i'm going to just fill in a load of trees uh, all around here and see what it looks like It's better than it was, but I think I need to just pop in manually a few oaks as well. I want some really big oak trees. Are these even bigger? That's a small oak. And with these sort of larger trees like this, oh, I don't like some of these buildings that are popping in. We need to go through and have a look at those. It's blocking off uh, all the extra noise that's coming from these big roads down here. So even though we might have a few shops dotted through here, uh, having these nice big trees around will certainly help as well. I think that is probably what we're going to do. And then when we do get some paths, we'll come back and we'll add some paths in. A couple of little spots and then I think we'll be done. Oh, and there we go. I would definitely say that that is looking much, much better. I'm liking this, even though, I mean perhaps you'd have like roads with the proper footpaths and things down here we may come back and change these roads in the future i'm just thinking about changing the roads now as i'm looking at them oh man let's see if we can find something that's just as thin but it's got a nice footpath i think that will suit this area better i gotta be honest i think this looks much much better with this style of house as opposed to this which was more when we thought this was going to be out in the country so i'm thinking we'll save this road for somewhere else and i'm going to upgrade all the roads down here to this one and then we can see what it looks like right we're almost there for this area apart from one little thing we've still got all this ruining that's underneath the props and um, this sort of sandy color which shouldn't really be there we should have green grass and everything in the back um and that's probably been commented from some earlier on in the video and i do have hide it and bob installed i just want to grab that tree there and fill some of these in um, but they seem to be conflicting so i'm just going to do a quick restart and hopefully all of that would have disappeared when we come back let's leave it like this and then we'll be able to see here we go and here we go this is what it looks like now so we are the whole weekend later i was recording on friday now it's monday and yeah with a lot of fiddling around with bob and hide it and building control and all sorts of things i finally found out what we need is theme mixer which i'd removed from the mod pack because i was sort of told i think by skive or something that it was going to cause a problem but if we just drop theme mixer back in and the theme we're going for is the uk road project revival theme which just makes it look so much better and then of course we've still got the cinematic hd uh, LUT, which is working on there. And then not to forget in Lumina, once you've done all of those, let's just zoom out a bit and turn that way so we can see what we're doing. Go to Global, and I just up the exposure to about here, and then it's not too dark. Yeah, and I definitely think that looks much, much better for these buildings. So, yeah, we're going to just sort of leave that as it is for now. And we've got lots of little needs that we have. So we've got no schools in here 
at all at the moment. And as you can see, we have some that are eligible for elementary, for high school, for university. So let's maybe pop some of those in. And then we need some police as well. So maybe let's do the police first. That's hopefully an easy one. And we do have some police stations that I think will sort of fit in with the area that we've got here. I'm thinking that this one here, if we just turn on that layer off, the ND I think means no decoration. So we're going to go with this one. And if we just sort of hover that over here and see what it looks like. Um, yeah, you can't really tell until it's placed, can you? So let's make a little spot. Oh, jumpy game. Let's make a little spot for this that's going to help this area. And I'm thinking maybe just off the main road over here. So I'm going to start just by placing it down there just so we can see what it looks like. Oh, can we move over this way? There we go. Yeah, very typical British looking police station i like it i like it so we're not going to need a huge amount of space down here but we're definitely going to want to have an asymmetrical road we're going to go with the road project revival road in here and i'm just thinking i mean that looks to me yeah i want it not too close to the roundabout so if we go from there that looks good that will fit in nicely we'll have some dedicated lanes for turning off which we can now do we're going to select that control left click oh look at that dedicated lanes in dedicated lanes coming out that is super excellent you're going to need some power which isn't jumping across uh, what i'm thinking here is to add maybe some car parks in to sort of supplement this is the parking for the people that work here this will be the parking for those that want to come and visit uh, the police station. If we just type in car park with not too many R's. Yep, so I haven't fixed the keyboard. Nothing's unlocked yet apart from these ones. Hmm, the carport. What could we do? Yeah, we can type in parking instead. And we have all these different options. I think that's just the roads. That's just the other things. Yeah, I like this one here. This is from the Republic of, not Republic of Japan, Railroads of Japan. That's what it's called. <laughs> and uh, we'll pop that in there. And I think that looks okay. It's got a nice fence around it. It's got like a nice little parking barrier in there. It's got some little places to pay for your tickets. So I'm thinking maybe a couple of those. That will do nicely. Of course, you're going to need some power. And we're using our old style wooden power lines. That's good. So let's just put this on and see where we can connect up to. I mean, we literally could just connect across here for now. There we go. That should keep everybody happy. Question mark. Let's just see what happens. And maybe let's extend our water pipes down here. Yep. And you should be happy as well. Any second now, you're happy. Everybody's happy. Brilliant. So that's the police station. Um, I'm wondering whether we can change the type of police car coming out of here. Vehicle selector. So at the minute, we've got any vehicle. We have a few different vehicles to choose from. If we have a look at the advanced vehicle options mod, we can scroll down here to police is here somewhere. Police services. Come on. There we go. No, that was prison. Police. Excellent. So we can individually turn cars on and off. So that is the car that comes with the base game. I've disallowed that one to spawn. We've got the police helicopter, the mobile command. You've got to make sure they're in. And then, yeah, we've got all these different British looking police cars. Um, I don't actually like that one. We're going to take that one out. What does that say there? Service build and vehicle select must fit to random. Okay, that's fine. We're going to take that one out as well because I think these ones actually look a little bit nicer. Very good. What have we got? Skoda Octavia, Vauxhall Astra, sort of an older one. Yeah, so any of those coming out of here, I think, will be fine. So if we leave that on any vehicle, then this one here should only have in the available vehicles aston martin sprinter that looks very much like the aston martin i recently drove at my uh, supercar experience uh, mobile command center i think it's got some of the other ones in here even though they've been disabled mm, okay let me pick the ones i want and i'm going to move them over to here i think the easiest thing is to add all eligible vehicles and then go through here and take out the ones that we don't want. That should be the easier thing. Um, so we didn't want that one, I don't think. We don't want the police supercar. I think that's just a bit much for the UK. We didn't want that one. We don't want that one, because that's sort of the basic one. I think the mobile command center, actually, we're going to take that out. 
yeah that's it that'll do that's good and then we can copy that to other buildings once we get some other buildings yeah excellent so we'll leave that one going and here we go here's our first british looking range rover type police vehicle going out excellent so then we want to set up some schools as well and i'm just sort of looking to think where would be a good spot for those i mean i'm sort of wondering whether this piece of land here could hold a couple of schools for us we do have some space back here and maybe we could stick an elementary school in there so let's have a look so i think i mentioned before that we're using a lot of schools that are down for toronto uh, in canada and they look pretty good um as schools here what is this road i'm going to change this road as well we're going to go for this one here now that we've sort of decided that this isn't quite the country area that it was going to be and to be honest we might just even pop it right up against here because i don't necessarily think that would have there we go a separate road i mean that just looks like a basic elementary school there excellent and then what we can do is maybe do a little bit of detailing here oh accidentally left uh tree anarchy on as well i think oh that's because of the collision thing from over there wasn't it that was going to cause a problem if i move that and put it back actually how far back can that go before it loses connection if we go there then we've got a little bit of space at the front excellent and then for playground we've got all sorts of little items that we can use i'm just looking at this one here which I think we should be able to just place up against the side here and see what that looks like. Again, it's got all the trees in there. What am I accidentally leaving on? It's not this one here, is it? Prop Anarchy. I don't think so. Tree Anarchy is off. Maybe it is because I just left Collision on in there, but that's what it is. If we just move that around. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, that's good. So they're going to be coming in there into this nice little... That is quite nice, isn't it? Let's see if we can yoink that around so it faces this way yeah you're going to lose road connection that's fine and then what i want to try and do is get like a little road up there so again we can perhaps use one of our small hmm, rural road is there like an invisible road that we could use there we go so i just ended up using a little rural road up there which eddie stobart's decided to use to turn around um i want to ban trucks off of there because i don't want them doing that it's a kid's school so you can't go up there and you can't go up there um everything else i think will leave because if we turn off trash i think it will cause problems so let's just go with that yeah i think that looks okay i'd like to know what this hedge is so we could use that to maybe close in the school wow there's a lot of stuff on here can i just sort of scroll through that no i can't so it's none of those well unless i'm completely blind it's not in there um so let's just have a look and see if we can find the hedge we don't need to be on that one we can basically pick one that uh, fits in with that can't we and then just use that to close around the school let me have a look that actually looks actually if i pick a network one which is this anyway which is good we could then let's just draw that in there i mean that's not the same is it maybe then we just end up going for a fence although i quite like that Let, let's go for this let's close it in with this Yeah, that's okay. And then let's have a look at our power. We turn this on and go into here. Yeah, we can get rid of most of that, can't we, in fact? Because we don't need the power going all the way up here. So let's get rid of all of that down there. We can have that connect out the front. We don't need this one all the way down here either. Excellent, that's good. And then we can just sort of finish off with a couple of nice big trees. Let's use the picker picker mod it's picked there we go it was thinking out the back there and then we could even add mm, let's have a look let's have a look oh we haven't unlocked paths yet have we but is there some sort of cheeky path that we can borrow and use uh, this one straight grassy path let's have a look oh i see okay that's not one that we can place down as a network no let's wait until paths are actually unlocked and then we can do that i think that's okay for our first little school looks very british nice little nice little playground excellent so that's the elementary school and then of course we need the high school as well oh of course high schools we haven't unlocked yet so that's fine we'll just stick with the elementary school over there and then the other needs that they're gonna need filled is of course fire we've got that one unlocked and again we do have some 
Let's have a look. British looking fire things here. I need to have a look. There's something that's going on that's removing a lot of my FPS when I open the menus down here. And I don't know what it is. There's, there's, uh, there's a weird sort of combination of mods, I think. I know we're at the end of the life cycle, aren't we, really, of City Skylines 1, where you sort of think you get all your mods sorted, you'll be totally fine. Um, but it seems like that isn't necessarily the case. I do like that one. It's got the big tall tower. And this one looks quite good as well. It's a lot smaller. I think we're going to go for this one for now. And I think a good spot for that would be over here by our police station. So I'm going to grab that. What's going to happen, I think, is this area here. There we go. The houses that are all built up to the back here might get shortened a little bit. They're really happy about that. Oh, that's great. Excellent. There we go. Very good. So we've got our fire station here. And again, we could do a similar thing. We don't seem to have as many different fire trucks. I'll tell you what we have got. If we have a look in here, fire safety. So we've got the helicopter, the trailer. Yeah, we've got that one truck, and then I've taken out these ones here. But I think we might just need to do that here. Oh, yeah, see those? They're still showing up. Yeah, so we're going to add that one, and then we'll leave the other ones out. And then hopefully, if there's any fires, we'll get the good old British-looking fire truck coming out of there. Yeah, excellent. And they can sort of share the park in here. And do you know what? I feel like I need a third one. Oh, we've got power cables. That's okay. We'll sort those. Hopefully, that's jumped across. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, that'll be fine. So plenty of parking going on there. And now we can hear people upgrading their houses, which is great. Oh, and of course, one more service that we don't have is a medical practice. So we are going to take our normal little medical practice here. Um, I'm going to plop that down there so we can have a look at that and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's fine. It's got some parking in there. Um, I'm just wondering whether we could just pop that up a side road as well. Let's take a look. Um, just a very small to you, nothing complicated, little side road. And then when we get some uh, more small parking, we could pop a little bit of park in there. And I think that's going to be within walking distance. Once we get all of our little paths available to us, we can hook all of these up and help people get around. Excellent. Looking good, looking good. I also want to change the trees on here. This is not a type of tree that we would see up against these sort of roads. What sort of tree is this? It is green tree number one. So we are definitely going to change that. Now I've remembered that little menus at the top there. <laughs> if we come back over to here and select this and both trees and props. Oh, okay. I was selecting the right thing. Leafy grass, hazel tree, weed. Uh, no, it's still not showing us what we wanted. Okay. I was thought it might show us the hedge. But yeah, what could we find that's perhaps a more British looking tree? Something a little bit taller that can go down on our roads here. Well, I'm not sure we can do it yet because we don't actually have landscaping unlocked. And I'm just wondering whether that is causing us a problem. We have a few street trees, regular street trees, which I think might be good. Can I just place one of those down? Yeah, I mean, we can change the size on that. But it's a little bit taller. It looks like, I think they're called plant trees. They sort of grow up nice and tall, don't need much root space. And they're regularly alongside roads. But I think something like that or something like that, maybe a little bit taller. I'm probably going to go for that one. Yeah, the regular street tree. We'll, we'll do that. Once we've unlocked this, what do we need? Oh, dear. What's these horrible buildings that have popped in over here? Yeah, I don't like those. I need to get some more UK commercial buildings. Some of them are a little bit naff, um, but we'll see what we can do. So what are we getting up to? What is our next population milestone? We've done Worthy Village. 1,600. So we're not quite... Oh, dear. Some other interesting ones over there we're not quite there yet oh just found these republic oh, i keep saying republic of japan railroads of japan they actually do do a small little parking lot uh, to be honest i think that'll be for visitors i think that'll be plenty big enough for those that are coming in here why are you coming up here to turn around they don't need any goods you are also going to be banned i think it, this is telling me that we need to get a road somewhere for people to turn around on it's this one i want isn't it yeah not that one thank you very much no trucks no trucks go and turn around 
elsewhere. Thank you. So with the huge demand that we have and the fact that this is a very, very modded city, I'm going to be mixing things up sometimes. Sometimes we're going to be zoning stuff in, letting it grow and then sort of tweaking it afterwards. Other times I'm going to have an area like this that I've completely set up and I'm just going to use mods to copy and paste it until we have what we need because we found out already that these very thin houses they won't zone in on their own because of a bug in the district style editor so we're going to sort of work around that bug by using the move it mod and it's a fully modded city so why not i'm going to take off of here buildings but what does what does the road count as segments and nodes i don't want nodes but if we do that we can grab everything else there we go excellent copy that and then if we hold alt is it alt or control yeah alt get that lined up in just the right place and hopefully yeah that's not lining up right is it if we maybe eyeball it oh and hope we get it right i mean we can move it afterwards there we go one hour later have a tea break have a relax they'll appear any second there we go fantastic and then if we do that a few times along here and then we can also sort of put these little back rows that we've got in and the side streets and things like that that will be good why is this one not out as far as that one over there or well, maybe we can do something about that let's delete that let's draw that in with all our snapping on and that'll take us to the exactly the right spot excellent don't be unhappy i'm building your roads and all sorts i don't think that has lined up perfectly oh of course yes yes we've got to do the thing haven't we so if we do that again this is why you don't deselect it because then you can come into here set it to terrain height it'll all line it up nicely and after the game's waited a bit it will do it excellent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill in as many of these we need to do to get our demand down here and then hopefully that will help us work our way up to hitting our next target and we'll have a fantastic looking terraced house estates like this oh man i've seen estates like this just like this so here we go yeah let me do this and i'll be back with you oh hooray there we go i've barely placed a couple of little rows there and we've got tiny town which is fantastic 1600 residents we've just gone over that and that's unlocked a load of stuff we want park areas landscaping parks and plazas football we are going to be getting some british football things in oh don't you worry about that a load of policies a load of new roads let's just scroll through here this is one of the things that i like about city skylines too is you're not suddenly inundated with like all of this stuff like this um which you know can be good to unlock a load of stuff but suddenly getting all of this was i quite like the get a development point and yeah then go and pick what you want but anyway yeah we've got all this stuff sports hall gymnasiums did i see high schools in there somewhere i'm not entirely sure loads of sports things yeah there we go look high schools excellent oh so much stuff brilliant i was just popping down another one of these electricity things and hopefully that's going to solve the electricity problem over there it is excellent so i've tidied this up a bit i've moved all these roads down a, a spot a spot and yeah i'm loving i'm loving the way that this little area looks and that is going to expand i mean it probably would just do this stretch down here and be quite a big estate but um but now we've unlocked let's come out of this view here now we've unlocked the other stuff can we now upgrade these tree things so let's grab me pick a pick a mod and grab that tree there we go can i upgrade to this type it still won't let me and i've got anarchy on huh now that's a little bit weird what if i pop this on it won't let me what am i doing wrong maybe let me know in the comments if i'm missing something because if i just grab let's have a look let's grab a vanilla tree and it won't let me do it with that either i'm definitely i'm definitely missing something i mean it's got the little symbol there for the upgrade and it is trying to do it but i don't know why I'm just wondering, could it's like the British Road? Maybe that's a problem. If we grab one of the two U, let's have a look. Yeah, here we go. Standard. Uh, oh, that is a UK one. I wanted one of the built-in ones with trees. Oh, they're not unlocked yet, are they? Maybe that's what it is. That the, the actual tree roads aren't unlocked yet. So the game's saying, no, you can't do that yet. If it's anything else, let me know. But I think that might be the problem. I'm hoping now that we have 
Um, I just want to get rid of that menu there. So if I do this, if I do that, if I do, oh, whatever, it can stay. Um, if we have a look here, do we have enough availability for our elementary school? We do a bit of a trek, but I, I mean, to be honest, yeah, I mean, that's not too far away. High school. Let us find a good spot for a high school now that we have that option. Again, we've got so many options of what we're going to use. I'm just going to upgrade this road down here. Turn the collision off and hope that doesn't cause a problem. Yeah, and I want that to be the asymmetrical one. Oh, we used a different asymmetrical there. Didn't we have an asymmetrical here that matched that? I tell you what, we'll, we'll do this as it is for now and we'll see how it goes. Oh, darn it, the collision. The collision. That's right, we'll get the movement mod. Bink, bink. Whoa, what am I doing? I've got this one on as well. Let's try that again. Oh, darn it. Darn you, game. Yeah, it's my fault getting the toggle collision button the wrong way around. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. So I'm going to have this road sort of come across here. And this is going to be... Let's take that. Let's turn on our snapping. This is going to be the entrance into our high school. And I'm wondering whether we could still also bring it out onto the main road. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. We'll go to there. And we'll see how that goes. We can always sort of monkey things around a bit as we go along. And then again, we've got a whole heap of schools that we can use. And I'm just thinking we'll go with this one like so. Everybody's really pleased. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. That is looking good. And then again, we could use our... Oh, we might have other parking options now. So let's actually have a quick scroll through here. Yeah, we've got all sorts of parking roads available to us and all sorts of things like that. I think we're just going to keep it as a basic couple of these for parking at the moment. And then if that's something we want to add a bit later on, we'll do that. And I'm obviously uh, wanting water, which, you know, for a school, I don't think we can begrudge them water, can we? So let us do that. There we go. That should be okay. Uh, power is hopefully okay. Yeah, that's jumped across. And then I'm thinking, I don't really want to head too far out to here because we said about having that as a park and stuff, but maybe here, some sort of sports football type thing. Let's have a look what we've got in here. If I could spell football, that'd be great. That is really not how you spell football. I mean, believe me, I know how to, but I've got my mic in the way, so I'm struggling there to type at the same time oh there's all sorts of we've got an artificial pitch which is humongous that is not what we want i'm thinking these sort of smaller ones inside a park area or roadside hmm, let's have a look what else have we got Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and any suggestions for what you'd like to see built in the future. Please subscribe before you go and leave a like and I will see you all here for the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.